Hello, I wanted to show you a quick video um, continuing work we're doing with uh, ArcJS on mobile devices. This is an application running on an Android smartphone. It's uh, an ArcGIS mobile application extension of some work we've been doing using um, Adobe Mobile Air. Um, it is a fully interactive map as you can see. Um, this is actually, although I mentioned it's on an Android device, this is one code base that runs across the platform so this could easily be a, um, a Blackberry phone or a or tablet or indeed a, an iOS, an Apple device. Um, so that's one of the beauties of these cross browser solutions. We've been asked by a number of people to uh, how they can go into the field and make edits to GIS features. Um, two in particular things they wondered about was extending existing features, i.e. Um, making actual physical changes to the feature itself or and also um, attributes, making updating attributes. So what we've done here, we've, we've actually loaded um, some data in Utah. This is uh, this is actually polling information, um, and that's what that's what's loading here. We've got a markup tool in the top left-hand corner that actually allows us to to add elements to the screen, to add uh, points or polygons, um, or indeed text to the screen as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just hit that button there. Um, it's going to give us the ability to to add a polygon to the screen so let's do that we're going to just add a polygon to the screen let's just imagine that the feature that we're looking at here we wanted to extend the the extent of that feature something's changed um, as you can see on the screen we've actually included the perimeter and the area of the, of what's been added um, ultimately what we're going to go, go don't going to do here is is to add uh, is to save off this information so let's go ahead and do that. We're only going to add one feature at the moment. Uh, we could uh, we could have multiple features from this, but let's just uh, hit that button now. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to save a text file to the the phone itself. So we're going to store it locally. Um, if we hit the OK button now, what that does is it actually saves a representation of of what we've drawn on the screen to a text file, and we can reload that file uh, and see uh, those what we've added to the screen. As you can see, we've deleted the uh, the feature itself off of the map, so we can add a, a additional markup to it. Um, let me explain that in a bit more detail in, in a minute. I wanted to continue the demo. Um, let's just hide that screen um, and we'll just uh, we'll just uh, zoom back a little bit here. There's actually some weather data on the top of this so that, that stuff there is weather which uh, probably should turn off. In fact let me go ahead and do that. Uh, weather data, there it goes. Okay good. So we wanted to uh, to look at this particular feature here, and it's a, it's a polling district. So if we hit this attribute button here, we can then do an identify on that. And you probably didn't see there very quickly there was a there was a, a clock that came up. So we've actually gone and, and got the attributes of of that feature, and there they are. Um, so what we wanted to do was to actually change the attributes of that particular feature. So let's change the, the elect code. So we'll hit that. We'll come up the keyboard and we'll just add something arbitrary, one, two, three. As you can see in the top left hand corner there, there's there's what we've added. We'll hit done. And there it is. We've updated it. So what we can do now is save those edits. Now for the previous edits, which were physical edits to the feature, we actually saved it to a file on the phone. Um, I'll explain why they, we did that in a minute. In this case, we're actually going to send this data to an administrator. So we, what we're going to do here is we're going to tell the administrator, we've changed this feature, its ID, and this is what we've changed it to. So let's just hit the Save save Edits button. And as you can see, we pop up a message for the user. They say, thank you, your edit's been sent to the administrator. So the point of this is we've made a couple of change, we, we've made a couple of edits here in the field. We've we've changed the attributes of a feature, and we've also um, changed the um, extent of a feature as well. Now we've stored those both as text files. One of them we sent directly to the administrator. He can actually look at that feature's changes and, and make those physical changes to a shapefile or to ArcGIS in this case. Um, we've also um, stored the markup and we can again send that file to an administrator and he can actually overlay those uh, changes on top of a map and, and, and change that feature. Um, 
So this is applicable into an, in an online situation. We're talking online here. Um, we could we could just as easily do this offline. So in, in each of those cases, we would store all the data in two files on on the phone. We'd change the change attributes and the markup uh, dot text file, and we would then when we come on, uh, online, we'd upload those for the for the administrator to change. So we can do it offline, online. Now there are some additional things that's worth mentioning here. Um, if you've got a feature layer with an ArcGIS, you can do edits. Um, uh, directly to the feature itself and upload those to the to um, to ArcGIS. Um, you can also uh, you can also do that uh, offline. So, but but not in a cross-browser situation. So only if you've got our iOS. Um, and one other thing to mention is if we if we're doing this with uh, open source, GeoServer, Open Layers, um, Open Scales. Um, or indeed you don't have a feature layer, this would be the approach you'd take. So this is kind of a nice way for us to do, uh, to send information to a, to a GIS administrator, have him do a sanity check, and then update the, uh, the database itself or the GIS itself. So kind of a nice approach to doing, to doing work in the field with edits. Thanks for watching.